Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs, with the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! Pollock leads it off. Drives it to left. Up and back it up. And that ball's off the base of the wall. In the seats. No, it's stuck in the wall, pardon me. <laughs> he found a seam. <laughs> oh, yeah. Up and goes back to the wall, and you can clearly see it just sticks in between the pads out there right at the 376 mark. Boy, just a little. Stop and look a bit confused, and now it's easy to see why the ball disappeared. This is fourth start since coming back from the disabled. That one ripped to right field. Rodriguez back, and it's off the wall. And it pinned underneath the wall. You can see it sitting there. But there is just a small gap there. And it somehow landed right in that spot. Drives it toward the pool. And it sticks in the wall. He stuck the landing. Right in the scene. Actually waiting for the ball to clear the wall, but it's right in the middle of that padded area. Just a thud. Oh. It's a new Goldie sound. 0-1. Oh Gensler lines it down the left field line. That is going to be extra bases. Viciato over to try and get it underneath. Keep going down there. And Gensler is just going to keep on going around the bases. Here comes the look. Get right there under the paddock. Can't find it. Can't see it. Switch hitter batting right for the first Look out time. all around. And that ball wedges right there. Ricochet. No, no, no. I, the, the. 2 2 is shipped to center field. Cespedes heading back towards the wall, and it's over his head. Heading to second base is White with a stand up double. Hey, keep going. Go. He's going to keep running. It looks like it went under the wall. Well, what Cespedes should do is he should put his hand up and get away from the wall. The umpire will go under and see if it's lodged underneath the fence. What are they going to do? And he's saying no. Oh, there's he's the ball. Called, he's calling it inside the park home run. What's he doing? The, the ball. What's, what's he thinking? There's nothing that he can go underneath. Going. And that's rocked out to left center field. A long run for Deaza. Deaza way back watching that one off the wall. It sticks there by the base of the wall. Altuve coming in to score. And it's one to nothing on an RBI double by Castro. 19th double for Castro. Now we talked about the impact Jason Castro is having on this club right now. And this again against the left-hander. The front side stayed right there until he decided to unload. And unload he does. That's great power. Oh, it's stuck in the fence. Games, it's a grind. And you have to trust your, your, your process and your routine on a daily basis. Brian Dozier hits one a ton to left. And Worth had a shot at it. The ball is stuck in the fence, so it's still in the ballpark. And there's a runner going home who thought it was a home run. Now the umpires are going to stop it. How can you stop in the middle of a play? It should be a ground rule double. If it gets caught between the padding and the fence, it's an automatic ground rule double. But it is their discretion right here. Um, yeah, usually the play kind of progresses on through. And as the Nats had a runner held up, or actually hung up between third and home, Third base umpire called a halt to it as Worth got the ball back in. Dusty had the rules in his hand, the Nats part ground rules today, and he showed me them. And it says if the ball gets stuck in the padding between the fence, it's an automatic ground rule double at this ballpark. So once Jason Worth lost that in there, the, the play is dead, and it should be a ground rule double. Let's see what they're doing here. I mean, did Jason Worth truly lose the ball? because it disappeared or was he just a little disoriented after jumping up against the wall seemed like he found it pretty quickly i think it was just sitting in there between that padding and the and then the chicken wire kind of fence there in the bullpen 
So it's going to be second and third with one out on a well hit ball by Brian Dozier. It's a dead ball once it goes into there. See, see that little see the ball? I can't draw because yeah, I'm tell you it. Off. And so once it's in there and you can't find it, plays dead. It's ground rule double. And the ump's got it right. Yeah. And this is a good thing to happen in a spring training game. So now Dusty Baker, his first game as a manager in this ballpark, finding out the ground rules. 